Hey, what is up, guys? It's Cool Freak here, and today's video is gonna be on unlocking bootloader on my OnePlus 2. So let's get started. So uh, before the starting each and everything, I will say that I am on Windows 10 right now. And uh, this is my second time I'm doing this one. First time I was trying to do my unlocking bootloader. It is saying that your device drivers has not installed. So for that, uh, there are many steps guys. Uh, but uh, I found this step is very easy. So for the drivers, basically this file, pdanet, you can go to the Chrome browser and type PDA net by going to this go to the first website and for the windows and mac go here and download the version 4.1.9 so after downloading this it's kind of look like this and run is as administrator i've already did it so after installing this first of all you need to connect your device to your pc uh, next thing is uh, you need to download these two files I will provide this so this is what this is the ADV file like uh, you need to install this one uh, for detecting your drivers uh, like this one this okay so do you want to install ADV fastboot yes type Y and enter do you want to install system wide yes okay installing the fastboot system wide copy do you want to install device drivers yes Y again enter so it will pop up with this device driver installation wizard so click next okay finish if you are precious uh, so you need to download some kind of SDK manager from here like this it kind of look like this see this one is a Google image so here is a SDK manager from your browser you can download the tools so uh, otherwise if you are uh, thinking this one is very difficult so you directly go to the google type android sdk download here is this the file hippo one and you can go to this website and you download this one it's only 144 mb so uh, this one this file i have downloaded this one right now as you can see our version is 24.1.4 right click this one and run as administrator so i have already did it and, and you can find the installation directory into this uh, program files dot at 32 bit uh, like this one and go to the android android sdk after that uh, you can go to the platform tool into this empty space you need to uh, hold shift button and your keyboard and right click over here as you can see uh, there will be an extra command prompt window over here so open this one uh, before this guys I will tell you uh, my device has already unlocked bootloader so I will do it for you guys again go to the android option uh, about phone and tap the build number seven times so after that there will be a new option called developer option in this you can enable it by this one and uh, there will be thing is there OEM unlock so you have to unlock this one uh, like this so it's some kind of giving warning is like that though so enable it and go to this one advanced reboot and main the main thing is this one uh, USB debugging okay so everything is okay good to go uh, make sure you take some certain kind of backup before this doing this uh, unlocking bootloader cuz it's going to delete all your internals so let's get started you can switch off your phone or directly you can go uh, like this uh, reboot option in this there will be one option called bootloader go to bootloader and hit ok so wait until it go to the fast boot mode you can see it's gone into a fast boot mode and the drivers also detected remember that you should open this uh, command window inside this platform tool so I will make this video uh, quite easy and quick you need to uh, press certain commands so here is this uh, you need to type adb version so if this uh, kind of thing came like 
yes you have the drivers and it's showing the ADB version of this phone and next you need to uh, press or a certain command like fast boot device hit enter if uh, this came up this whole thing so uh, yes it's pretty much good if not install your drivers perfectly so after this if it's game then you need to press codes for unlocking your bootloader so copy this one that is a fast boot OEM unlock go to this and hit paste hit enter I'm hitting enter again it has taken some time okay finished now you need to check whether it's everything went is perfectly or not so copy this one fast boot OEM device information info copy this and hit control V device temper is false it's okay it's kind of thing like yeah, they are not deleting your internal one and this one is the device unlocked like yes device is unlocked this is true if it's showing false so you have did some wrong thing or your device might have not detected uh, if it's not detected like it's showing you false so you need to do certain things which I have said before for checking the drivers uh, you need to go to the start files uh, right click on that and go to the device manager and yep here will be certain things like this one Android phone if you are search for this one Android phone if it is not there you need to download that previous uh, thing which I have shown you before this thing that PDNet and install it so I have uh, another video how to install this PDNet go check it through so after checking after checking your phone uh, your phone is still on fast boot mode so uh, yes it's saying true if not you can repeat this step after installing that pda.net I'm sure 101% sure it will work for you guys and if you're in Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 uh, there will be one, another thing I will show you later on uh, it will work for you guys so uh, it's showing true that means you are unlock bootloader next you need to uh, reboot your phone uh, like this fast boot reboot if you type and hit enter it will reboot your device so guys I will be dividing this video into three parts first will be uh, drivers and this unlocking bootloader for this one second video will be on routing and flashing TWRP recovery for this one for this device and third video will be on upgrading from oxygen OS 2.2.1 to marshmallow that is the version will be 3.0 Android OS so I will see you in the next video